Hey guys, it's Patrick with TFB TV. I'm out here at the range with my friend Ed from WePaintGuns.com. Uh, you do uh, Cerakote and uh, suppressors, right? Yeah, actually full FFL and gunsmithing as well as... Okay, well cool. I mean, uh, if you're in the DFW area, you can check Ed out. Um, but we're out here with the AB Arms Mod X chassis system. And uh, American Build Arms sent this to me a little while ago. Said, hey, can you test this out? And uh, let us know what you think. I said, sure, I'd be glad to. But I don't have a uh, Remington 700. So I called my friend Ed and said, hey, got this chassis. I need to get, get it out to the range. And uh, really get an impression on what we think about it. And he said, you know, I'll be glad to. It'd be great. So uh, I went over to his house today, well, to his shop, rather. And um, we installed the Remington 700 into the chassis. Install went really smoothly. We did run into some clearance issues where the safety wouldn't quite uh, disengage. And uh, when I called Jason at AB Arms, he was very helpful and said, you know, on our Mod 2 of the Mod X chassis, we're going to go ahead and uh, we've opened the trigger well up to allow for uh, users to use things like the Timony trigger and other aftermarket triggers that were not able to be fitted into the Mod 1 chassis or the Mod 0, whatever they may reference it to it as. You're in the dirt, right below it. So it's just low. Good lord, that's a lot of drop. Still, you're hitting, you're hitting the ground directly below the plate at ground level. So you still need to come up another foot and a half. Feet. Yeah. There you go. That was a heck of a lot of elevation. Try that again, that's too much fun. The plate's not swinging a whole lot, it's, it's moving like somebody's throwing a rock at it. <laughs> if you haven't shot a suppressor, you really need to try it. <laughs> it just doesn't get old. Nothing like enjoying the sound of the birds chirping, cows mooing, steel ringing. <laughs> oh, I'm sold. A bit more recoil, a little bit more noise, a bunch more gas. A sniper I am not. There we go. So, something else I wanted to touch on is the mags. I've got a little bit of a grievance with those. When you load them up to the full 10 round capacity, they bulge out a little bit and they're very tight to get into the mag well. And I think with a closed bolt it'd be kind of difficult. So, we're going to go ahead and load it up quickly. I will say that loading them is quite easy compared to some of the mags out there on the market. And I think that's going to be 10 right there. So, a little bit of a, you can see I'm having to put a little bit of effort in that. I'll take a couple more shots. Got a target down there. Let's see what I'm doing. See how well the AV Arms chassis does. Oh, 
it looks like just low. You know what? Shooting paper is just not as fun as steel. Target swinging a little bit too much. There we go. So there we have it. So while we were out here at the range, we just, uh, you know we, we shot about uh, I guess it was 60 rounds, something like that. And uh, the chassis never lost zero. It's very easy to dial in. It's a very stable platform. Um, Ed mentioned that shooting from the bipod was really, really, really stable. Um, it was really easy. It was easier than it is on, on your normal setup. Generally, yeah, absolutely. So very solid um, forearm. You know, and uh, we had a couple of grievances. I think uh, you mentioned something about the pistol grip. Yeah, well, it's a grievance and it's also a plus. You know, you they use a standard AR grip, so you can customize it and put any grip you want on it. Right. Which can accommodate for people with big hands, which I happen to have some paws. But my grievance was the fact that what it came with was a very small grip, which it put me in a position of having uh, to really... Uh, Kind of yeah. contort my finger in order to get into a get good, that claw going. Get a real claw before I could get on the pad and, and get a good shooting position. But I know that it's something with uh, a very little customization, I could make it fit absolutely perfectly. All right. I mean, uh, now I've got smaller hands and I didn't run into so, uh, so much of an issue. I'm very used to shooting with the pad of my finger and making that little claw kind of thing. Um, I didn't really find it to be too much of a hindrance. It could be more comfortable, but. In its current state, it's okay for me. Um, something else that I didn't like about it is that they only offer a key mod version of the handguard. Uh, I wish they offered a Picatinny rail version of that because, to be honest, I, I'm a little hesitant to pick up key mod. And I, I still view it as kind of fatty, and there's still a lot of um, debate on what needs to be the new standard. But everything still goes back to, you know, everything still accepts the old Picatinny mount system. So I think that removing uh, or adding that as an option would be a, a good op, you know, good idea. But we can point out, just like on the grip, the key mod allows you to put a Picatinny rail on right. if you want and to delete it if you don't. Right, yeah. But the downside to it, though, is you have to go out and you, know, you have to purchase some key mod rail sections, and that adds more weight to the, to the rifle. And one thing that we do, I do like about key mod, um, and I've had this conversation with other people, is that it keeps the weight down. Um, there's not as Absolutely. much material there, which is, it, it's nice. You can still mount stuff to it. It keeps the weight down, uh, which is another great point about the AV Arms chassis. Uh, the Mod X is super light. Um, I don't recall what the weight of the chassis alone, uh, alone is. With, but I know, with scope was 14 pounds. Right. With the scope and uh, the, uh, the suppressor, we're looking at 14 pounds for the rifle with full loaded mag. Um, now, without the scope and the suppressor on it, we were down to 9 pounds with just the rifle, you know, as you see it here. That's really light. Very light. I mean, I, I've tested AR-15s that are heavier than this, and it's current form. And it still absolutely handled the recoil, and in fact, the perceived recoil was very light, even with with full uh, supersonic rounds. Full, right, full I mean, loads. Um, I've shot a friend of mine's, uh, I think he's got a uh, HK-91 that's set up for long distance shooting. And that is the most uncomfortable thing to shoot. I really hate it. I've shot my friend's AR-10. That's awful too. You know, AR-10s are, are a little bit more harsh recoiling than I like. But this was very pleasant to shoot. Um, you know, I was able to nestle right in behind the, uh, the uh, scope, get a good sight picture, and take reliable, accurate shots every time. And I'm by no means, you know, a, a trained sniper or anything like that. You know, in, in fact, I'm not very good at distance shooting. Period. But with this setup that, you know, between Ed's equipment and the AB Arms chassis, 
we were able to go ahead and get consistent hits on a 200 yard uh, on a plate at 200 yards, and I mean it just made for a really pleasurable shooting experience. Absolutely. But uh, I mean some of the features of this, you know, obviously you've got your free float uh, handguard here, which is set up for key mod. You've got a detachable magazine. I believe it uses the Accuracy International pattern of magazines. Uh, now, AB Arms offers some polymer magazines. One thing that we did notice about this is when you load it to 10 rounds, you do get some swelling, and it does make inserting it into the magwell a little bit difficult. Now, um, you know, the rest of it's pretty straightforward. You can replace the pistol grip with one of your liking. Um, the AB Arms pistol grip is very comfortable. It's just a little bit on the slender side. Uh, now, you've got a buttstock that they provide with a adjustable length of pull and adjustable cheek piece as well. And that makes it really easy to dial in for the individual shooter. Thankfully, between Ed and I, we were able to use the same settings and didn't have to go ahead and change it very often. You know, it just may, may be not, me not being picky. It may be us, you know, being built from the shoulders up the same way or something. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I want to say, you know, thanks again to Ed for allowing me to go ahead and use his, uh, you know, 700. Uh, he's, he was very, very kind. Um, and allow us to get this test done. Unfortunately, it's been going on for a while, and I want to apologize to AB Arms. It has taken a couple months to go ahead and get out to the range because, unfortunately, in Texas, uh, we've been getting quite a lot of rain, and uh, my range was actually flooded out for quite a while. So I appreciate you guys being patient, and uh, I want to thank you guys for sending me such a wonderful product to review. Uh, you have anything that uh, you want to do address with the uh, AB Arms chassis? I'll just say this. I think that there's going to end up one in my safe. Yeah, it will have a, a nice Cerakote finish done on it, but uh, other than that, it's uh, it's really nice out of the box. Yeah, no, I mean, it, it is pretty fantastic, and, uh, you know, I wanted to mention to our, our viewers that when we did run into the issue of the uh, safety interfering with the, uh, the chassis, we were out at the range. We had limited tools, and when I called Jason up, he diagnosed it on the spot. Absolutely. and said uh, that on the Mod 2 chassis that that issue had been rectified and it's no longer a problem. But in the meantime, since you are having a problem, do you have anything you can go ahead and remove some material with it? And we said, yeah, we've got a screwdriver. So we were able to go ahead and use a screw screwdriver to carve out a couple thousandths of material inside the safety pocket to go ahead and get it to function properly and it saved our range day. You know, I couldn't be more thankful. So now, if you're looking for a drop-in chassis for the Remington 700, I definitely recommend you check out the AB Arms Mod X chassis system. It's reasonably priced at right around $700. Uh, I think it's uh, $699 and then $799 for the Cerakote model. But you can go ahead and find somebody, uh, and if you want to go ahead and order it Cerakote, that's fine. But there are local Cerakoters around you that can go ahead and do a, a nice custom finish for right about the same money sometimes. Thanks for watching. I want to go ahead and give a quick thank you to our sponsors, Ventura Munitions and Grizzly Targets. Without their support, these videos wouldn't be possible. Thanks. Go ahead and subscribe and give us a like.